Hi, this is Nicholas York, a registered education and migration agent from Pathway to Oz. Uh, today, I'm going to discuss with you studying to become an electrical engineering draft person. So, look, what does an electrical engineering draft person do? Well, I mean, it's in the name, but you, you know, prepare drawings, plans, diagrams of electrical, you know, equipment and installations and circuitry. Um, you assist electrical engineers to design the layout um, of electrical installations and, you know, estimate costs, quantities and things like that for large projects. You know, what industry will you work in? Well, you could work in a lot of different industries, including mining, electricity, local government, uh, construction, a lot of different industries there. All right, so why do we like this course? Well, we particularly like this course um, of studying to become an electrical engineer and draft person because that occupation is very in demand in Australia. Um, it's on the government's or immigration's medium to long term list and it's also on a lot of state and regional lists um, even in COVID time, so it's very in demand. Another reason why we like this list is that when you complete this course, it may make you eligible for the graduate work visa upon completion. Um, as this course is on the medium to long term list, um, if you study for two years and meet the Australian study requirement, um, you should be eligible or you may be eligible for the graduate work visa. This is an open work visa that is valid for 18 months from Visa Grant, so when you finish the course, uh, and it allows you to build up, you know, you know relevant experience in, in the field in Australia. Um, another reason why we like this course is that you only need to study at a vocational level. So to meet the skilled requirement and become fully qualified in this occupation, you only need to study at, you know, at an advanced diploma level. Um, not a bachelor level and that's really important just because bachelor studies in Australia for international students is really expensive. Uh, so, you know, pro probably most importantly, I guess, electrical en engineering drafts persons are paid really well. So if you look at the government's job outlook website, the average electrical engineering draft person earns $1,784 a week, which is pretty decent money. Finally, look, one of the thing, one of the really good things why we like this course is that recently we have had, you know, students be able to complete what's called a full skill assessment upon completion of the course through Engineers Australia without needing work experience. Um, so a lot of other occupations or courses that you study, you're going to need to build up work experience in the field for a year or so after. With this one, you know, you potentially may be able to get a full skill assessment um, just based off your education. Um, this is important as it allows you to gain a full skill assessment with the qualification only, uh, which gives you even more time um, to apply if interested, you know, for potential visas, you know, when you're on the grad visa. All right, so how long the duration of the course? Look, the course goes for two years. This is usually broken into four different semesters. So intakes and when does the course start? It'll usually start in January and July each year. What's the timetable like? Look, it is a reasonably intensive course. You know, you'd, you'd probably imagine going to school three, you know, three and a half days a week. So if you want an easy course, it's definitely not for you. And the cost, well, look, the cost is about 12,400 a year, maybe a little bit cheaper, a little bit more expensive, depending where you want to study. Um, obviously this, you can pay it on a payment plan, so you don't pay it all up. I hope you found this information useful. Uh, if you do have any questions about this course or any other courses in Australia, you know, you want more information on the schools, etc., feel free to contact Pathway to Oz. Uh, we'll put the link below and you can just contact us through our website, uh, socials, so Facebook, Instagram, um, or over the phone. Thanks.